Hey guys, so today I'm just gonna go through my train cases with you real quick. Um, and the reason I'm not showing my face is just because I wanted to get through this video because I don't have much time, but I thought it would be an interesting video for you guys to see. Um, so here we go. So this is my hard case, um, train case. And this is by Samsonite. And it was actually part of like a luggage set. Um, but I actually found this at Goodwill, and, well, actually my mom found it, and, um, she had known that I wanted a train case for a while, and, you know, it was like five bucks or something, and it works really well, you just wipe it down with, um, anti-back wipes, and you're good to go. So, you open it like this, and these come out. These can also lock, which is cool. You open it up, and... There is me, um, and it's a mirror, nice big mirror that you can see, um, and here's the top portion. Now, um, this is an accumulation of makeup I've had that I don't want to use on me anymore, or that I've, uh, cleaned properly, or, uh, makeup I got from my makeup artistry class. Um, actually all of that's in here, basically, but... Alright, over here, I have 12 lipsticks, and there's two layers, if you could tell. And I, I actually just organized them by color, so, like, I know what I'm reaching for. Here's a lip gloss. By the way, the brand that I got at my makeup artistry class is Sorme. S-O-R-M-E. And so that's what all that stuff is. Here's a lip gloss, and here's four, uh, four more lip glosses. I may be adding a few lip glosses to this collection. And please keep in mind, this is only a starter kit. Um, I don't have the money to go out and buy hundred, hundreds of dollars worth of makeup for my train case. So this will get me where I need to go for now. Um, this is an e.l.f. lip stain. Some of it's random, just because I thought it would go good in here. Um, a Sorme mascara. Three Sorme concealers. A Clinique lip quad. Um, some mascara ones. Uh, a light and a dark powder, um, Sorme sharpener, with two, uh, sizes to sharpen your pencils in. I have two LA Colors liquid liners in brown and black. I have two Sorme liquid liners in brown and black. I have this Jordana gray pencil, and then I have a couple eyebrow pencils, like a few... Uh, lip liners, a few eyeliners, and those are pencils. And I have two different eyeshadow bases. I have Sorme and NYX eyeshadow base. That's the top. Then you lift this up, take it out, and this is the bottom portion. Um, I have a color wheel because we learned how to use this um, according to the face in the makeup artistry class, and um, it just fits in there, so I just put it there. I have all my Coastal Sense palettes here. Um, I have the concealer, blush, lip color palette, contour and blush, 28 neutral, 88 matte color, and 88 um, warm palette. And then you take those out, and here are my foundations. I had another Sorme one, which was darker, but um, something on it broke. The pump broke, and it uh, it dried out. So, um, I have a lot of these Sorme ones, and then I have a really dark and a really light Revlon color stay, and then this dark foundation right here, uh, which is just a random foundation that, uh, one of the makeup teachers gave us because we didn't have tons of dark foundations in our starter kit for some reason, so he just pumped out a lot of, like, big foundation bottle and gave us all these. So that is this train case. Inside this, and I call it a train case just because you can, um, it, this was also part of luggage actually, and it's by Pierre Cardin, and um, it's just a really small, soft luggage, and since it's soft, I put the stuff that would be able to go in here and not break up here. In the back, I have the binder, which I used at the Makeup Artistry School, which that'll take out for gigs, but that's just in here for now. A couple different folders for things I need, um, and my portfolio, because that's a must. 
I have tons of eyelashes and a couple different glues. And actually in here, I have these two Creative Me palettes from Coastal Scents, and I kept them in the bubble wrap and in the boxes because they're in here and it's kind of a little more dangerous, but I had no room in the, sm the other train case. They're also in between things, so it's pretty good. They're also in between things, so it's okay. I have this palette for mixing foundations, concealers, whatever. I have this little bag of hair accessories to put their hair back. I have this cotton set. It has cotton swabs, cotton pads, and cotton balls. And then I have more mascara wands. Also, um, watch them come today in the mail, but um, I'm expecting 100 lip applicators um, to come in because the mascara wands and the lip applicators are for sanitary reasons. So those will also be in here. I also have uh, makeup remover wipes. In this small case right here, or the small couch, I have some, like more liquidy stuff. I have water in a spray bottle, Purell, um, an eye makeup remover, moisturizer, and cleanser. And so that is my um, makeup freelancing uh, train case starter kit. And uh, this one I put over my shoulder, and this one I carry. Um, please note that this is just a starter kit, and it's random, I know, with different brands, but I'm not going to buy all expensive brands when I'm just starting, because I need to see where this gets and where it goes. Um, and if you guys don't know why I'm doing this video, it's because I actually have a photo shoot set up in a couple weeks, and I wanted to look professional, um, because I have been with a local band, but they were friends. So I didn't need to look as professional because they knew me, but um, this is a new person, and I'm really trying to freelance and get out there. You know, I've put, I've advertised myself online, and I have business cards around places locally, so I'm trying to get out there and get in this business. Um, so I just want to look professional while doing it. And my portfolio and resume are actually um, looking good, which is a good thing, but I also wanted the necessary materials. So, these are my train cases. I know someone requested to see it, so here they are. And also remember that, you know, I may add things over time, but um, I can't do like an updated train case series. But I will update you if anything big happens. So, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little um, insight into my career. And have a good day. Bye.